Hi, welcome to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is Baiju Vasudevan. Here we are solving June 2022 Pure Math 2 past paper. This paper consists of 10 questions. In part 1, we have covered question number 1 to 4. Let's look at question number 5 now. Solving trigonometric equation. So the first step in solving trigonometric equation is converting the whole equation into an equation of a single trigonometric function. So I can write this as 3 sin over cos, tan is sin over cos. is equal to 2 cos this bring it here it becomes 3 sine theta plus 43 degree is 2 cos times cos cos square do not skip any step theta plus 43 degree and then I'm gonna replace cos square by 1 minus sine square theta plus 43 open the bracket you will get 3 sine theta plus 43 degree is equal to 2 minus 2 sine square theta plus 43 degree try to put everything single side everything here you will get 2 sine square theta plus 43 plus 3 sine theta plus 43 minus 2 is 0 which is a quadratic equation right so I'm gonna take P as sine theta plus 43 degrees so the quadratic equation can be changed to 2p square plus 3p minus 2 is equal to 0 so I'm gonna use my calculator to solve it 2 3 minus 2 2 3 minus 2 I got 1 over 2 and minus 2 P is 1 over 2 P is minus 2 but I need to write a step 2 P minus 1 times P plus 2 is 0 now replace P back to sine theta plus 43 degree is equal to half comma sine theta plus 43 degree is equal to minus 2 the range of sine is minus 1 to 1 so this one has no solution we just need to solve this one how do we solve it find the principal value theta plus 43 degree is equal to sine inverse of half sine inverse of half is okay in degree so we need 30 degree that's the principal value now we use the ASTC diagram look at the limit given in the question it's minus 180 to 180 so this is 0 to 180 this is 0 to minus 180 so sine will be positive the sine is positive one here and here so it's theta here 180 minus theta here so theta plus 43 is equal to theta which is the principal value of 180 minus theta 180 minus theta is 150 degree now subtract 43 you got the answer minus 13 degree 107 degree that's all that's the final answer question number six now in a geometric sequence u1 u2 u3 the common ratio is r u2 plus u3 is equal to 6 and u4 is 8 show that r satisfies this equation let's take the first term as a so u2 can be written as a r u3 can be written as a r square so from here a r plus a r square is equal to 6 and then you can write u4 is equal to 8 as a r cube is equal to 8 I'm going to divide both the equation so you can write it as a r plus a r square divided by a r cube is equal to 6 over 8 
take a as a common factor and cancel it you can take r also as a common factor and cancel you will get 1 plus r divided by r square is 3 over 4 I think cross multiply you will get the answer already when you cross multiply 4r plus 4 is 3r square but I was saying this side you got the equation 3r square minus 4r minus 4 is 0 that's the required equation that's all move on to second one given that the geometric sequence has a sum to infinity why do they say that what does that mean that means the modulus value of r should be smaller than 1 we got the equation 3r square m minus 4r minus 4 is equal to 0. We need to solve it. 3 minus 4 minus 4. 2 and minus 2 over 3. r is equal to 2. r is equal to minus 2 over 3. Since modulus r is less than 1 r should be minus 2 over 3 not 2 so u1 you need to find the first term now you know u4 is 8 that means a r cube is equal to 8 a is 8 over r cube use this r here a is 8 over minus 2 over 3 cubed that's the value of a that's the value of first term so I'm gonna write it as 8 over I'm gonna type the exact same thing and see what happens minus 2 over 3 whole cubed is negative 27 therefore u1 is the first term negative 27 that's all a lot of working for the three mark question now part c finds sum to infinity s infinity the formula for sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r we just calculated a and we know r is minus 2 over 3 so it's going to be minus 27 over 5 over 3 which is 3 goes up minus 81 over 5 is the answer that's all it's a 7 mark question given that x plus 2 is a factor of f of x and the integral of f of x this this so you need to frame two equations equation number 1 and 2 and solve the simultaneous equation to find a and b let's use the first one x plus 2 is a factor of f of x so we replace x by minus 2 here f of minus 2 will be equal to 0 because x plus 2 is a factor so 8 times minus 2 whole cube 6 times minus 2 whole square minus 4 times minus 2 plus b is equal to 0 you'll get minus 8a plus 24 plus 8 plus b is 0 so you get minus 8a plus b is equal to minus 32 that's equation 1 now we are going to find equation 2 by integrating and sub in the limits we are going to integrate f of x so it's given integral 3 to 5 f of x dx is equal to 176 so when you integrate f of x you're gonna get a x power 4 by 4 plus 6 x cube by 3 4 x square by 2 b x 3 to 5 is equal to 176 sub in the upper limit minus lower limit and frame another equation so first I'm going to simplify it. I can write it as a x power 4 by 4 plus 2 x cube minus 2 x square because you can cancel this plus b x the limits 3 to 5 is equal to 176. I'm going to sub in the upper limit now 5 in the place of x 
so 8 times 5 power 4 by 4 plus 2 times 5 cube minus 2 times 5 square m plus 5 b that's upper limit minus sub in 3 3 power 4 by 4 plus 2 times 3 cube minus 2 times 3 square m plus 3 b is 176 you see how I'm going to simplify the like terms. I'm going to take this minus this. That would be the coefficient of A. So I'm going to put 5 power 4 divided by 4 minus 3 power 4 divided by 4. 136A. So I got 136A. Let's simplify the numbers later. We have 5b minus 3b is 2b is equal to 176. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to simplify the numbers now. I'm going to simplify this whole thing first. 2 times 5 cubed minus 2 times 5 square. 200 goes to the other side. Minus 200. And then simplify these two, multiply by negative sign and bring it to the other side. 2 times 3 cubed minus 2 times 3 square is 36 times minus minus 36 goes to the other side plus 36. So I will get 212 minus 200 is 12 is equal to 12. 136a plus 2b is equal to 12 that's equation 2 you have to carefully frame the equation if you want you can double check so we have equation 1 here equation 2 here we need to solve the simultaneous equations take the equation separately 136a plus 2b is equal to 12 that's equation 2 minus 8a plus b minus 8a plus b is equal to minus 32 I'm gonna multiply the second equation by 2 so first equation stays the same multiply the second equation times 2 so we'll get minus 16a plus 2b is equal to minus 64 I'm going to subtract them. So this becomes plus, minus, plus. This will be cancelled. 152A is equal to 76. So A is 1 over 2. Sub in back in here. Minus 8 times 1 over 2 plus B is minus 32. This is minus 4 goes to the other side. B is going to be minus 28. So A is half, B is minus 28. You can also use your calculator to verify this answer. 